Connecticut nurse admits that she swapped out anesthesia drugs for salt water, causing excruciating pain to women during infertility treatments. It happened at a top rated center affiliated with Yale University. And tonight, one of the victims is sharing her story with CBS 2's Tony Aiello. It happened in mid 2020 at the Yale Fertility Center in New Haven. This patient, herself a physician, suddenly realizing the anesthesia was not working as she underwent a painful egg harvesting procedure. It made me scream. I remember screaming uh, in the middle of the procedure um, from pain, so I couldn't, I couldn't tolerate it. Months later, a letter from federal investigators explaining how nurse Donna Monticone used a syringe to remove the potent opioid painkiller fentanyl from vials and replace it with salt water so she could use the fentanyl herself. Federal prosecutors say at least 175 vials were tampered with at the facility in New Haven and a second site in nearby Orange. Attorney Josh Koskoff represents four women who suffered incredible pain during IVF procedures. They feel betrayed, I think, is is appropriate word to convey their feelings. Koskoff and his clients say when the women told Yale fertility staff about the pain. Our concerns were, we felt like, were dismissed by the providers. How is it that after the first complaint of pain, they didn't do a thorough investigation? Uh, and how is this allowed to go on for as long as it, it apparently did? In a statement, Yale says the fertility center is changing procedures, record keeping, and drug storage so this opioid painkiller swapping can't happen again. I think our healthcare system needs to learn from this case and implement stronger measurements to prevent a diversion of addictive substances. The victim told me she still has nightmares about the pain. And this has also been a nightmare for nurse Donna Monticone, who faces up to five years in prison. The 49-year-old single mother of three has surrendered her nursing license and gone through rehab. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And prosecutors say the nurse swapped out the drugs over a period of at least four months without getting caught. She will be sentenced in May.